Let's see, 2020 so far. Huge bushfires down under where at least 1 billion animals died? Check. Global pandemic? Check. Large plague of locusts threatening food security in East Africa? Check. Hundreds of giant Asian killer hornets appear for the first time ever in the Northwest US ready to kill honeybees? Check. Wait, what? We wish we were kidding. Just as the world is trying its best to keep its cool in the midst of a pandemic, giant murdering hornets never before seen in American territory are coming out of hibernation. This is what we know. Last December, the Washington State Department of Agriculture confirmed two reports of Asian giant hornets in Blaine, Washington. Reuters reports that two more unconfirmed sightings were reported in Custer, Washington. These killer hornets are now coming out of winter hibernation. Native to Southeast Asia, China, and Taiwan, Asian giant hornets can measure between 1.5 to 2 inches or 3.8 to 25 centimeters in length. Vespa mandarinia, also known as murder hornets, have stingers that deliver venom to their victims and mandibles capable of decapitating bees. According to the WSU Insider, the Asian giant hornet queen wakes from hibernation in April, finds nourishment, and then looks for a place to establish a colony that will later go out to bring back food. The bee population in the United States is most threatened by these hornets from late summer to early fall. While they hunt for food for their next queens, the hornets will decapitate honeybees and eat the bees' larvae and pupae. Well, you might be thinking, isn't this just nature? The circle of life, so to speak? Nope, not really. First off, we don't know how these hornets made it to the US, but they have never been found in the country before, so this new species is an invader and definitely a threat to beekeepers. Still not feeling this pertains to you? A threat to bees means a threat to human food production. We need bees in order for many key crops to be pollinated. According to the United States Department of Agriculture, more than a third of all American crop production requires insects to help pollinate. And the primary pollinator is, you guessed it, honeybee colonies. So what can you do? Well, if you live in the States, keep an eye out for these murderous buggers and call authorities if you're unlucky enough to spot one. But in your quest to take down the murder hornet invasion, please be aware of their painful toxin-ridden sting. Oh, and if you're allergic to bees, then definitely stay away because their sting could easily cause a severe anaphylactic shock and even, well, death. Speaking about deadly bugs, remember this new spider we discovered late last year? If you have a fear of spiders, just keep watching because this has nothing to do with arachnids. Biologists at the National Autonomous University of Mexico said they have discovered a new species of recluse spiders named Loxocelis tenochtitlan in Mexico City. Quoting a researcher, El Universal reports that the spider has a distinctive dark brown coloring and a clear violin pattern on its dorsal section. According to the university's press release, the spider is set apart from other recluse spiders by its sensing appendages and sexual organs of its females. The spider also possesses a venomous bite that it utilizes as a defense mechanism. The bite causes a blue-purple ulcer on the victim that could be hard to identify clinically because it is not painful and symptoms could be confused with a common rash or infection. Biologist Valdez Mondragón told El Universal that the spider lives in urban homes because the environment provides suitable humidity, heat, and prey. The spider favors hiding in tight spots and eats cockroaches, so they could be encountered in trash cans. Speaking of insects that like to live in human houses, watch out for other bugs sneaking into your humble abode in the springtime. You wouldn't want any to use your body as their new home. A woman from Kansas City got the shock of her life when doctors informed her that a poisonous spider was living in her ear. Susie Torres told 41 Action News that she heard swooshing water sounds in her left ear when she woke up in the morning last week. As the sound wasn't going away, she decided to pay a visit to the hospital. A medical assistant first checked her ear and immediately ran out the door. She returned with a few other medical personnel and told Susie that there was a spider in her ear. More specifically, it was a venomous brown recluse spider. Susie was shocked. She told the news channel that she never knew spiders could crawl into someone's ear or any other body part. The doctors then used their tools and pulled the spider out of the woman's ear. Luckily for Susie, the doctors told her the poisonous spider hadn't bitten her. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, a brown recluse's venom is able to destroy a person's skin tissue and can cause severe bruises. 
Susie said she isn't taking any chances and is now putting cotton balls in her ear before going to bed. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.